Hello everyone and welcome back to the 12 myths about photography series. In case it's the first time you encounter those series, go back and check out the previous episodes and hit that subscribe button to be notified in advance when the next episode comes out. So, why not everything you hear about photographers is true episode 4 or the fourth myth that is really, really common among non-photographers. There it is, one of my favorite. Well, for some reason, contrary to myth number three, which was about being a photographer means having gear that instantly starts to pay itself out. Some people think that to create a cool shot, you actually need heaps of bucks. I mean, you know, we all kind of imagine photographers of some kind of mystical creature that walks around a really perfectly geared photo studio filled with amazing lighting, uh, props, whatever you can think of. And they are just bound to create amazing things in that super expensive studio. Well, thing is that you can do just as fine if you have an idea of what you're doing. You first you need to have an idea and then you can recreate it using very little investment in it. Here are a few examples of that. You won't believe it, trust me. So, first of all, let's see how people think photographers work. So, this is an image of a photo studio shoot taken by me at an event a few weeks ago. So, as you can see, we have two models. We have off-camera lighting, which is really, really expensive, by the way. Really professional, but really expensive. We have props, we have an assistant on the left, we have a professional hairstylist, professional makeup artist on call right now at the event. We have that photographer working with his camera connected to a computer so he can adjust things on the spot. And the whole thing costs loads of money. I mean, a photo shoot like this would cost a lot no matter where you are, even if the model is a friend of yours and doesn't charge. You'll need to pay for anything else I mentioned. So unfortunately, most of us are not children of the Rockefeller family, which means that we cannot exactly afford to do this. But we can still do other things that are just as good. Here is an example. So this is a really simple shot created by me for a stock agency. It's sold, by the way, sells quite well, I must say. It's a simple shot. Basically, we have a red rose and a black backdrop. Nothing really, well, difficult, so to say. So basically, what I did, first of all, that rose is taken from my garden. I literally took it from my garden, I have roses there. So I just cut one of those and used it. Um, as you can see, the droplets are droplets of water. Nothing, nothing so pff, difficult, so to say. Lighting is natural, absolutely natural afternoon sunlight. And the backdrop is one of the most interesting things in that image, since it's actually a blouse of mine. Basically, it's a really, really nice blouse, but these days I use it more of a backdrop than anything else. So, how the thing happened? Basically, that blouse was made even blacker in Photoshop, and there we go, clean black background. Nothing expensive, basically. We have anything you can use. You can do that with any, any type of color, well, if you have that kind of clothing in you, monochrome, mind you. So another example, this image is a bit different, but the backdrop is absolutely the same blouse. So I remember when I showed this to colleagues, we were at a gathering somewhere, I don't remember. So I showed this on my cell phone and one of the colleagues asked, wow, that's a really good one. How did you do that? How many are how many off-camera flushes did you use? Two or three? 
and I said none basically that's window lighting and a printing paper on the other side to bounce off the light as you can see this is something you can create at home because these spices well you can find them in almost any house so nothing expensive there having said all that i would like to once again wish you good luck and stay focused thank you for watching this and go and check out the other videos i'm sure you'll find something interesting and remember you don't need a lot of money to create amazing shots all you need to do that is a lot of imagination and to be inventive. Bye, see you next week.